hello there and welcome to the new clicksense tutorial video and in this video we will going to look at clicksense median function and this median function is very helpful in identifying the as the name suggest the median value or the middle value and this is especially useful in scenarios like where you have the outliers in your data set uh, which can skew the overall average of a data set so for example over here if we see we have uh, this data these data points and uh, these data points have a lot of small value as you can see this and some of the very very high values like this this or this 27 or 38 or 31 whereas most of the values are around 1 2 or 3 so whenever you have the um, the issues like this where there is a lot of fluctuations in your data set and you are trying to figure out the right median value then in that case you will use the median function so let's go ahead and see it in action well we will create one single table median and we will try to calculate the value of uh, the the value which is over here and part of these two observations so how to apply well first of all we created a table and then load statement load type type is nothing but uh, whether it's an observation or a comparison and then you have median for each uh, observation and comparison so we will call it value value is coming from here and indicates these this entire data set and then we will say resident and uh, table one group by type so that's that's what you need as a minimum uh, minimum declaration for calculation of median now let's go into the front end in analysis and uh, let's get one table over here get the dimension which is type because we calculated it over type and one more dimension which is the median i guess we have not given any name or did we nope so we need to give one name that's something we missed as uh, med value otherwise it will not appear as you could see so load the data close this come to analysis and add the column dimension which is med value and for comparison it is 2.5 and for observation it is 26.5 so let's come over here uh, this is the comparison the second one and you can see the median value is 2.5 but if you took the average which i covered in the previous video it would be i believe somewhere around 20 or 30 not 30 i would say but somewhere around 15 to 20 if i'm not wrong well but with the help of median what it calculates the true middle value in the presence of the where outliers outliers where values are either very very high or very very low so that's about how you can calculate the median value in the back end but the same thing you can do it in the front end as well by adding a measure so let's go into the expression editor call the median but over here as you can see we have a lot of flexibility where we can specify the set analysis we can specify total keyword and all keyword distinct keyword all of those in the front end because in front end you need to you know achieve those custom scenarios and to achieving those uh, custom scenarios as per the business needs is done using all these different options so let's give it minimum thing or minimum value which is uh, or the minimum field which is value click apply comparison 2.5 observation 26.5 and overall median of the entire data is also coming somewhere around 19 where both comparison and observation both the values have been used so that's about what you get when you have the expression in the back end and in the front end and uh, based on that you can apply wherever you want as per your needs 
in back end if you apply it will be static in front end if you will apply it will be more and more dynamic with more and more features yeah, that you can use uh, that comes with the part of the front end selection or front end you know expression where you can specify all the set analysis and different keywords which we covered so that's about it and i'll meet you in the new video with a new topic